Hello and welcome to the video. I am Philip Nichols and I want to share something I looked at earlier today. Let me just read the headline here. It says, the effects of climate change might make spiders angry, according to new study. So this study is like crazy. Okay, so let me, let me start here. These spiders that it's talking about are really cool. They're social spiders. If you never even thought of a social spider, I didn't even know about them until a few years ago, but they're really cool. And they, ha they make like these three-dimensional webs and they're really fun to study. But this is claiming that through the climate change, they're becoming more and more aggressive. They would take these samples from these colonies right before a storm would hit the area. They would like look at the storm's track and take samples from that area. Then after the storm came through, within 48 hours, they would see that these spiders are having a very good survival rate, but for the most part, the survivors were the aggressive colonies. So now they're saying they're jumping from there to Okay, so spiders are becoming more aggressive because of climate change. Let me start there at climate change. Climate change is not caused by man, as many people say it is. Now, I'm not saying that man doesn't have, like, any influence on the climate. They might have a little bit, but it's like a tiny percentage. They're, uh, they're claiming that man has, like, a big influence on the climate. The scientists that promote this idea of global warming all agree that carbon dioxide is the main cause. And carbon dioxide is absorbed by plants immediately. So why, why are they promoting that? Like, it actually helps plants grow and so it produces more oxygen. Like, it's absorbing it as fast as the carbon dioxide is coming out. Like. It, even if we wanted to, I'm not even sure if we could cause global warming by carbon dioxide. So that's interesting. But I'm, I'm not claiming that the climate isn't changing. I, I know that it is because you can see like the ice caps are melting. But that's likely because we're still recovering from the ice age that happened right after the flood. I believe we should still take care of the earth because God has given us the earth so that we can be stewards of it and we can have dominion over it. So we should take care of it, but we shouldn't be afraid of it falling apart and having an apocalypse or something. Let me, let me read in Genesis chapter 8 verse 22. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, winter and summer, and day and night shall not. It's saying right here in the Bible, while the earth remains, all of that stuff is going to continue. So we know that the earth will be destroyed, but not, not by humans. That'll be when God comes back for the second time. Well, we shouldn't be afraid of humans destroying the earth, but we should take care of it. It's not caused by humans. So on to the cool part of the story, the spiders. I've been interested in bugs for a long time and like, you know, ant colonies are so interesting. Like their social structure and bees too, but I don't like bees. But I'll talk about ants because ants I like better. <laughs> but ant colonies are so interesting and they're fun to research and stuff. But spiders are my very favorite arthropod. And so when I heard that there's social spiders, spiders that have these colonies, I was like super excited about that. So uh, these are like really interesting spiders to look into. Imagine this, okay? Have you ever heard about ants in your pants? That sounds uh, terrible. I know because it's happened to me multiple times and it's miserable. But imagine this, having the angry spiders in your pants. That would be scary, run into one of those colonies and just be full of spiders biting you. Oh, that's, that's like 
some people's nightmare. The story that they're they're making up, like this is not evolution at all. That's like saying since my brother is more aggressive than me, he's evolved into that. Like no, we were raised in the same environment. That's that's not evolution. That that has nothing to do with evolution. They actually mention in and near the end of the the article which is in the link below if i didn't already mention that but they actually mention a more likely reason which makes more sense to me than evolution and climate change this this sounds more logical i say but a decrease in food resources immediately after the storm could have something to do with it and competitor spider species could be more aggressive too, requiring more aggressive individuals to protect the colony from invaders. Finally, the researchers note, mother spiders may be too busy trying to find food and protect their resources to invest time in maternal care, forcing their young to develop hardcore survival skills. Like, whoa, like, why didn't you just mention that like at the beginning of the article? That that makes logical sense why the spiders are being more aggressive or the aggressive ones are the ones surviving. Like that makes that makes perfect sense. I would I would go with that. That's that's why it's happening. Like uh, that could be the main part of the article. You don't have to throw in that other random stuff <laughs> that is not scientific okay but this part this part is the crazy part at the very end of the article they say something crazy they say so in a way humans could well be creating an angry spider apocalypse. we brought this on our own heads like what <laughs> i hope they're joking i really hope they're joking with that last line like <laughs> We could be bringing a spider apocalypse. Like, no, <laughs> no, they're not evolving into some spider monster. <laughs> What's going on? But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, learned a couple things maybe, or just uh, thought it was an interesting story like myself. And just always when you read these interesting articles or whatever, Make sure you're thinking for yourself, keep your minds open, and I'll see you guys!